Let's take a look at some of the basics of the interface of a Combinator device. So I have an empty Reason Rack here. Let's go ahead and load in the Combinator. We're in the Instruments category in the browser here. Let's go to the Utilities, and here you can see the very first device is the Combinator. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into the empty Reason Rack. And now here we have a Combinator. This is an empty Combinator. There's nothing in here. But we can talk about the interface. So in the top left corner here, we have the bypass on off switch that pretty much every Reason device has. There's a little MIDI indicator here. So if I play some notes, you can see it lights up. We don't hear anything because again, it's an empty Combinator patch. We can hide the devices view. So this Combinator mixer section disappears. So this is a very simple mixer. You can think of it as a summing mixer. So all it does is combines all the different instruments you add into the Combinator. If you really need a proper dedicated mixer to mix things before you combine them, you can always go to Utilities here and load in one of these two mixers. Alright, so let's hide the Devices view. At the bottom here we're looking at some basic controls. Four control knobs and four switches, pitch pen wheel and the mod wheel. But if we need to edit this, we can hit the editor here. Now if we had devices within this combinator, we could choose how the different controls are going to affect the various controls of the different instruments. And we will dive deep into all that in the coming tutorials. But for now, we're just taking a quick look at all the different interface elements of the combinator. Clicking on configure opens this section here, where we see all the different panel elements. And we can also add additional panel elements like for example, if I wanted to add another control, I can click here. Now we have a fifth knob that I can move around. I can add another switch. I can move that switch around. And I can control various aspects of these panel elements. For now, let's exit out of here. So I can interact with these knobs and switches if I wanted to. Again, nothing's happening yet because we don't have anything in here. But that's basically the editor. All right, so that's a quick look at the interface for the Combinator. In the next tutorial, let's check out some existing Combinator patches you get in Reason.